Hello! Thanks for joining me. Today we'll be reading a story about what it means to be mindful. And mindfulness makes me stronger. Let's read it together. Mindfulness Makes Me Stronger by Elizabeth Cole Down in the park, all the children were running around, except for little Nick, who was sitting on the ground. He was feeling sad and cranky. His day was pretty grim. Nick was missing all the fun happening around him. He didn't see the rainbow that appeared after the rain, or the white trail in the sky made by a passing plane. He didn't hear the ice cream van when it parked on the street, so he missed the chance to buy his favorite frosty treat. Nick's dad asked, Buddy, is there something wrong? It seems you've been in a bad mood all day long. Yesterday, my history test didn't go well at school. I was also scared of the dentist, and it wasn't cool. Lisa asked me to her birthday party, and I like her a lot. And tomorrow is my game. I'm worried I'll miss a shot. Nick's dad smiled. Listen carefully to what I have to say. You can't change the events that happened yesterday. Instead, learn from the past and do what it takes to not keep repeating the same old mistakes. And don't worry about the things that haven't happened yet. You could miss all the nice moments, which you might regret. Instead, think about what you can change right away. This will help you make your future better every day. Enjoy the present moments, those that are happening right now. But how do I get rid of these troubling thoughts? How? 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 Practice mindfulness. Let's start with your breathing power. Take a deep breath through your nose, like you are smelling a flower. Think of all your big feelings that are too hard to handle. Blow them out of your lungs, like you are blowing out a candle. I feel better, Nick sat with a twinkle in his eyes. His father was glad. Wait till you see our next exercise. Jump up high in the air. Now do it a little bit more. Nick started jumping higher than he had ever jumped before. Now put your hand over your heart and feel your heart beat. Nick could feel the energy flowing from his head to his feet. You should pay attention to your five senses as well. Now tell me what you see, touch, hear, taste, and smell. I see shapes in the clouds and hear rustling in the trees. I smell fragrant flowers and feel the touch of the breeze. Nick's dad picked a berry that had ripened under the sun. Mmm, Dad, it's so delicious. May I have another one? Nick began to enjoy nature the way he'd never seen it before. Wow, being mindful is cool and opens a whole new door. Little Nick had replaced the frown with a smile on his face. He now realized that the earth was a beautiful place. From crashing waves and squishy sand between his wiggly toes to the smell of fresh pastries and cookies teasing his tiny nose. Nick was grateful for all the little things that make up his days. From cuddles with his puppy to the warmth of the sun's rays. He was making memories from what he saw, felt, and heard and he was glad to be present for his little sister's first word. Nick. All his worried thoughts were easily driven away. Nick began to change the things he could that day. 
he started helping people paint their days in softer hues. Because being mindful means being kind to others too. I am helpful. I am strong. I can do it because I'm smart. I am kind and a lot of kindness lives inside my heart. I appreciate others and the things that fill me with glee. I believe in myself, and that is why I like to be me. The present is the place Nick has decided to live. He enjoys every moment and all it has to give. Finally, Nick is calm and his mind is bright and clear. He has found true happiness in the now and here. He no longer worries or is absent like he had been. Mindfulness makes me stronger, Nick says with a grin. Being present is the key to experiencing life to its fullest. I'll see you at our next story.